Hey, what's up? It's Multi here, and today I will be going over clatter cards for all classes. If you have not yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future uploads. And if you want to be notified as soon as I upload a video, be sure to hit that bell. Now, I have not seen too many guides on clatter cards and builds, but I'm going to try my best to help you out on getting the best setup possible for the battlefield. There are many builds out there, but these are the ones that are the most used and by the pacemaker teams that are leading the way in Ulala. La. You don't have to follow these clatter card setups, but these are the ones that I thought I would cover. So let's get on to these clatter cards. So this is what I have for the Warlock, the Mage, and the Assassin. So you're going to want six Giant Jaw, three Flying Wings, two Woodland, two Coast, two Volcano, and one Mountain Range. So that's going to be your Typhoon Dragon, your Spinosaurus, your Pterosaur King, Tyrant Dragon, Lava Beast Chieftain, T-Rex, Swift Pterosaur, Demetrodon, and the Unicorn Gorilla. Now when you have all three stars, your attack will be 17,100, your HP will be 27,000, your Impel 4,500, and your Crit 2,700. With the two set of Woodland, while entering the battlefield, your Impel gets plus 600. With the Volcano two set, while entering the battlefield, you get plus 600 Crit. With the Coast 2 set, while entering the battlefield, you get plus 300 crit and plus 300 impale. With the One Piece Mountain Range, you get a basic attack damage of plus 5%. And with the 6 set of Giant Jaw, attacks cast one bonus layer of Giant Jaw effect, and when 4 layers are stacked, the next basic attack inflicts 124% attack damage. And with the three set of flying wings, while entering the battlefield, the flying wing card will cause attack plus 20% and impale plus 600. So that's going to be your clatter card setup for your warlock, your mage, and your assassin. Now on to the gladiator and warrior. You're going to have four rainforest, four agile, three fluff, three desert, and two hard shell. So that's going to be your queen dragon, your giant mountain dragon, your Irish elk, your ward king, Hermit Crab, Warg and Sand Fox, Lightning Plush Beast, and Dandelion. So when you have all three stars on these, your results will be Attack plus 2700, HP plus 85.500, Armor plus 3300, Tenacity 2700, Block 1350. Now with your 3 set of Desert, when HP is lower than 25%, damage taken reduces 50% for 4 seconds, triggers once per battle. With the Rainforest 4 set, while entering the battlefield, the Rainforest card HP plus 24%. When HP fall below 25%, heal 80% of the pet symbiosis within 3 seconds. It can only be triggered once per battle. With the Hard Shell 2 set, you activate the Hard Shell effect every 4 attacks and obtain 1 layer of shield of 50% of the pet's protection. Up to 3 layers can be stacked. With the Agile 4 set, activate the Agile effect every 4 attacks and restore the HP for Symbiosis plus 8% within 3 seconds. With the Fluff 3 set, increase each battle's initial energy by plus 1. So that's going to be your Clatter card setup for the Warrior and the Gladiator. Now on to the Shaman and the Druid. Now before I dive right in, I will mention that some use the 6-piece Solid Bone instead of the 3-piece to get more healing effectiveness. You can choose that setup if you would like. However, this is the setup of the ongoing pacemaking healers. So you would need the 4-piece Rainforest, 3-piece Fluff, 3-piece Solid Bone, 2-piece Volcano, and 2-piece Deadly Poison which is the Mammoth, the Queen Dragon, Irish Elk, Lion Dragon, Big Tongue Flower King, Black Rock Trasher, Lightning Plush Beast, Dandelion, and the Big Tongue Flower. When you have all three star results will be Attack 9900, HP 58500, Armor 1200, Impale 900, Crit 1350, Tenacity 2700, Block 450. The Volcano 2 set, while entering the battlefield, your crit will be plus 600. The Rainforest 4 set, while entering the battlefield, the Rainforest card, HP plus 24%.
when HP falls below 25%, heal 80% of the pet symbiosis within 3 seconds. It can only be triggered once per battle. With the 3 set of solid bone, you trigger the solid bone effect every 4 attacks. The healer's basic attacks healing effectiveness will be plus 75%. With the three-piece fluff set, increase each battle's initial energy plus one. With the two-piece deadly poison set, while entering the battlefield, transform one random enemy unit into a pig with the transformation lasting up to one second. Now that's going to be your shaman and druid platter card setup. Now let's get on to the hunter. So with the hunter, you want nine giant jaw, two volcano, two woodland, two plain, and one mountain range. So that's going to be your Spinosaurus, your Tyrant Dragon, your Autobahn, Lava Beast Chieftain, T-Rex, Rock Placodermy, Demetrodon, Velociraptor, and your Sand Frilled Lizard. Now once you get all three stars, your results will be 10,800 attack, 22,500 HP, 1,200 armor, 1,800 impale, 4,950 crit. With the two set of plane, while entering the battlefield, the plane card will cause your attack plus 20%. With the two set of woodland, while entering the battlefield, your impale will be plus 600. With the two set of volcano, while entering the battlefield, your crit will be plus 600. With the nine set of giant jaw, attacks cast one bonus layer of the giant jaw effect and when four layers are stacked, the next basic attack inflicts bonus 188% attack damage. Well, I hope this guide has been helpful and you gained a lot of useful knowledge on the platter cards for your hero. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.